Greetings, everybody. Thank you for joining me once again for IRS. You know, why, why would you put this fucking stupid thing on the moon with wheels and tracks and all kinds of moving parts, um, gears, you got your solar panels there, uh, in case you see some sun on the dark side of the moon. Anyway, <clears throat> you know what? Like, why isn't, wait a minute, is that the curve of the moon? No. All right. Why is it they would devise such a thing? You know, that's not how nature works, and usually designers come up with solutions based on nature and you know like if you look up the uh helicopter it's called the dragonfly it's based on the dragonfly it's the best design for a helicopter anyway this is actually what your moon crawler should look like think about it it's got the tail it's got all these like Little arms, tentacles, you could be gathering data and just placing it right in the tummy of this little robot lobster. Space lobsters from hell. But no, they don't want lobster on freaking moon. Chinese don't like the lobsters on the moon. Okay, they like the freaking to land their... This is them landing their rocket SpaceX. SpaceX on wheels, baby. See, the higher you get from the Earth, from the from the place you're standing on, the further you're gonna fall. So SpaceX says they have the largest rocket that uh, has ever gone up or down. That's gonna take a lot more energy to land it this way, in its configuration, standing up than it would be to just lay something down on the ground. Uh, I mean, I think that's obvious. Um, I'm going to do a little video on gyroscopes, but uh, I wanted to just show you guys this. This is the technology that they use for this uh, stand-up falling from the uh, this thing. Hoverboard. Um there's a, essentially what I understand is that there's a little tiny gyroscope in there and it's always standing straight up and it doesn't deviate once it's got an electric charge, uh, magnetic uh, spinning um, top essentially fixed in place. But they don't go into this very often. They don't talk about this technology very often. So... Maybe we should look into this. I had a couple of these. I used to go to the museum to buy them. It's just, it, Actually, these are fascinating things, man. Like, this thing will keep spinning in your hand, and you can stand this thing right on a fork, piece, like on the tip of your finger like this, and freak people right out, walk right up to them and show them. Anyway, fun and games. Um, I know, listen, uh, I keep my video short. I like to get right to the point. Um... I don't like to monetize my videos. These are just for, uh, you know, for people looking into uh, more research for these topics. And what I'm going to do is uh, come up with a, a separate blog channel, and uh, I'll do all my comedy bits on that. And uh, you guys won't have to listen to the new free talk about the lobsters anymore. Nope, lobster. I'll come back to the lobsters. Space lobsters from hell. Mm-hmm. <laughs>